Hi guys, welcome to my next tutorial with bubble stitch chart. Um, some of you asked me to make a train caboose, so this is the pattern for you. If you've got more ideas, just write me on the comments below the tutorial what else you want to see in bubble stitch chart. For this tutorial I used crochet hook 4 millimeters and the 100% decay yarn. Our square we have to start by making a slip knot and then chain of 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Now into the second chain from the hook, so here we've got the first one and then second we have to make first single crochet and then in each chain across to the end of the row we have to make one single crochet. So at the end of our first row we should have 29 single crochets. So at the moment I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and the last one 29. Chain 1. The second row we have to make the same so in each stitch we will work one single crochet. So in second row we should have again 29 single crochets and then we have to repeat our pattern making one single crochet in each stitch for one more row. So we have to make at the moment three rows of 29 single crochets. I've done my three rows of 29 single crochets, so now we have to start row number four, chain one, into the first seven, first seven stitches we have to make one single crochet, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into the eighth one we have to make bubble stitch, Bubble stitch we will work by making three times the first part of the double crochet. So we have to grab the yarn, put crochet hook into the stitch, then we have to grab the yarn again. We need to pull the yarn for first two loops and now instead of finish the stitch we are making second time the same. So grab the yarn, put crochet hook into the same stitch, grab the yarn, pull the yarn for the first two loops. We've got three loops on our hook and we have to repeat one more time. And now we've got four loops on the hook. 
So now we can finish the stitch and first bubble stitch we've done. Into the next stitch one single crochet, then again one bubble stitch. So three times the first part of the double crochet. One, two, and three. We've got four loops on the hook, so we can finish the stitch. For the next nine stitches, one single crochet in each stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine into the tenth bubble stitch. So again, three times the first part of the double crochet. Two and three, four loops on the hook, then into the next single crochet and one more time bubble stitch in next stitch. One, two, and three. Into the last seven stitches, one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, row number five. In row number five, we will work one single crochet in each stitch across. So again, at the end of this row, we should have 29 single crochets. So we are working in each stitch and on the top of the bubble stitch as well. So when you will work the single crochet, you should have the bigger loop than during working single crochet. So again, we've got two loops. Make sure that you put your crochet hook into the two loops and then make single crochet. Then into the single crochet between two bubble stitches and on the top of the bubble stitch again. And then in each single crochet. I've done 29 single crochets, so now row number 6, chain 1, into the first 6 stitches, 1 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, then bubble stitch, 1, 2, and three into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three then bubble stitch one two and three into the next seven stitches one single crochet one two three, four, five, six, and seven, then bubble stitch, one, two, and three, into the next three stitches, one single crochet, one, two, and three, then bubble stitch, one, two, and three. And into the last six stitches, one single crochet, one, 
to three, four, five, and the last one six. Chain one. From now, at the moment, our work supposed to look like that. So now we have to make <coughs> row number seven. In row number seven, one single crochet in each stitch. So again, twenty-nine single crochets. I am at the end of row number seven, row number eight. Row number eight we will work exactly the same as we've done row number four. So into the first seven stitches one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then bubble stitch, one, two and three then into the next stitch one single crochet and then in next stitch bubble stitch one two and three into the next nine stitches one single crochet one two three four five Six, seven, eight, and nine. Then into the next stitch, bubble stitch. One, two, and three. Into the next one, single crochet. And then bubble stitch. One, two, and three. Into the last seven stitches, one single crochet. Two, three, four, long. Okay, so we've done 29 and at the moment our work is supposed to look like that. So at the moment we've done the wheels. Row number 9, one single crochet in each stitch. So again 29 single crochets. Run row number 10, chain 1, into the first two stitches we have to make single crochet, into the third bubble stitch, 1, 2 and 3, into the next stitch single crochet and then bubble stitch. One, two, and three. Then into the next stitch, single crochet, and again, bubble stitch. So basically, we have to work bubble stitch and then single crochet until we will have the last two stitches. 
in this row in total we should make about 13 bubble stitches together two and three then single crochet in next stitch and again bubble stitch one two and three then single crochet and another bubble stitch in next stitch one two and three single crochet into the next and again bubble stitch in next stitch one two and three single crochet in next stitch and again bubble stitch one two and three single crochet and bubble stitch one two three single crochet bubble stitch one two and three then single crochet and again bubble stitch one two and three single crochet bubble stitch one two and three single crochet and one more bubble stitch one two and three and as i said into the last two stitches now single crochet one and two chain one so at the moment our work supposed to look like that and we should have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen bubble stitches row number eleven in row number eleven we have to make one single crochet in each stitch across so twenty nine single crochets in total Row number 12, chain 1, into the first two stitches, one single crochet, one and two, then into the third one bubble stitch, one, two and three. Into the next 23 stitches, one single crochet, one, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Now into the 24th bubble stitch. 1, 2, and 3. And then into the last 2, 1 single crochet. 1 and 2. Chain 1. So at the moment our work look like that so 4 6 8 10 12 row number 13 one single crochet in each stitch across row number 14 chain one 
into the first two stitches one single crochet then one bubble stitch one two and three you've got first bubble stitch now into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three into the fourth bubble stitch one two and three into the next one single crochet and then bubble stitch again one two and three into the next one single crochet and bubble stitch again so now we've got the third bubble stitch one two and three into the next stitch single crochet and again one more bubble stitch one two and three now into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three into the fourth bubble stitch one three then into the next single crochet and again next stitch bubble stitch one two and three and again in next stitch single crochet then bubble stitch one two and three into the next stitch one single crochet so we've done one two three one more bubble stitch one two and three then into the next three stitches one single crochet one two three then one more bubble stitch one two and three and now we should have the last two stitches and we have to work one single crochet one and two chain one so your work at the moment is supposed to look like that we start working on our windows so next row we have to work one single crochet in each stitch again row number 16 chain one into the first two stitches one single crochet one and two into the third bubble stitch one two and three then into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three then one bubble stitch one two and three into the next five stitches one single crochet one two three four and five then into the sixth bubble stitch one two and three into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three then one bubble stitch in next stitch again one two and three into the next five stitches one single crochet one two three four and five 
then double stitch one two and three then into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three and then the last bubble stitch in next stitch one two and three and again we've got the last two stitches one single crochet in each stitch one and two chain one row number 17 we have to work one single crochet in each stitch and then row number 18 and 20 we have to make exactly the same as row number 60 so make row 17 one single crochet then row number 18 the same as row number 16 then row number 19 one single crochet in each stitch and then row number 19 exactly the same row number 20 exactly the same as row number 16 and row 21 one single crochet in each stitch so we have to make 17 18 19 20 and 21 I am at the end of row 21, so I've done, um, I repeat row 16 two more times, so now we have to start row 22, chain 1. Into the first two stitches we will work one single crochet, 1 and 2, then we have to make bubble stitch into the next stitch, 1. and three into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three then one bubble stitch one two and into the next stitch one single crochet then again one bubble stitch one two and three into the next stitch one single crochet then again bubble stitch one two and three into the next stitch one single crochet and one more bubble stitch one two and three into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three then one bubble stitch one three into the next stitch single crochet and again bubble stitch one two and three into the next stitch single crochet then one bubble stitch one two and three into the next stitch single crochet and again bubble stitch one two and three into the next three stitches one single crochet one two and three then in next stitch bubble stitch one two and three and then into the last two stitches one single crochet one and two chain one so at the moment our work is supposed to look like that row 23 one single crochet in each stitch across
Now row 24, chain 1, into the first 2 stitches, 1 single crochet, 1 and 2, then into the third bubble stitch, 1, 2 and 3. Into the next 23 stitches, 1 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and 23 into the 24th stitch, bubble stitch, 1, 2, and three and then into the last two stitches one single crochet one and two chain one so at the moment our work is supposed to look like that row 27 one single crochet in each stitch it's 27 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20. Twenty-five. Row twenty-five, one single crochet in each stitch. Now row 26, chain 1, into the first 2 stitches, 1 single crochet, then 1 bubble stitch, 1, 2, and 3, then into the next stitch, 1 single crochet, and again into the next stitch, bubble stitch, 1, Two and three into the next stitch one single crochet and again in next stitch bubble stitch three and four and into the next one one single crochet so basically we have to repeat row number ten so we have to make bubble stitch and single crochet until we will have the last two stitches into the last two stitches single crochet and then I will show you what we have to do next three and single crochet I've done row 26 so our motif is already done so what we need to do next for the next six rows till row 32 we have to work one single crochet in each stitch across so six more, six more rows of 29 single crochets and our square will be done so I am at the end of uh, my work my square is already done. I've done the last six rows of 29 single crochets. Thank you. With staying, thank you for staying with me to the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you will enjoy that time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.